I mean, I was a reader as a, a, a big reader as a kid, and um, it wasn't like writing against writing or theorizing about writing that had turned me on to writing. It was actual novels and stories and like um, things that, in, that I found absorbing and that I would give myself over to for a time and live in some totally other dream world. And it was at this point that I, uh, I think I really dramatically had to start unlearning a lot of the received notions that I had built up over the years about, you know, what advanced art should look like or what, uh, um, what, what the function of art was like. And I, I started thinking of it much more in terms of, you know, the art that you're making is kind of a gift that you're giving to other people and that they should like and they, they should take pleasure in and you're not trying to like teach them something or force them to do something, but you're trying to like on some level uh, entertain them or, or, or um, solace them. And um, that began the point where I just said, fuck it, I'm not doing video or painting or any of that shit. I'm just going to write fiction and see what happens. And over the years, I then ended up writing a novel called The Half-Life that, um, that, you know, coincidentally involved young amateur filmmaking and um, imprisoned intellectuals like in Croc and Skeletons. Um, like, it turned out a lot of the stuff I'd been doing in my 20s ended up being the kind of mulch for this other more involved project. And a project that like, you know, it mattered to me like what happened with it, but I was sufficiently engrossed in just the sentence writing and in making the paragraphs that I could forget about a lot of the problems that I was facing or even the expectations I had for the work. And I was willing to just kind of submit to the craft of the language. Like, as it turned out, you know, so many of those other things I was doing were just like this slog I was going through in order to be able to do the writing about it either before or afterwards. And now it's like, I'm just going to do the writing and I'm going to treat it as a, as a kind of craft. I'm going to try and be as good at it as I can, um, knowing I'll never exhaust language. I'll never exhaust all the possibilities of, of storytelling or, or uh, describing things. Um, but I can kind of just enter it as some sort of perpetual amateur and acolyte and enjoy the absorption that it gives me. And, um, you know, perhaps not surprisingly, like that book, I felt like was the first thing that I really did that, um, that other people did in some level respond to and that like got to people in a certain way. And then I think in the, in the kind of magical way that a creative life can happen, um, that book uh, was read by my friend Kelly Reichert, who's a filmmaker who has kind of invited me into her filmmaking process, and we've ended up working on four movies together at this point. Um, and that led also to working with my friend Todd Haynes on a, um, on a mini-series type project. And so, in a strange way, the, the fiction has sort of opened up the world of still making moving images in a certain sense, um, but in a different way, like, you know, by kind of committing to something, like all the opportunities have kind of remained on the table in a very lucky and enchanted kind of way.